Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be trying some new in vegan products and I am so excited about it. I'm going to be honest, I feel like I'm filming this video as an excuse to just try these things. Normally I try not to buy too many of like the alternative products just because they are more expensive but I've gone all out. When I say all out, I've bought five things <laughs> but that's five things that I wouldn't have bought if I wasn't filming this video. And I'm going to share you guys what I think of them, my first impressions, and if I think they're worth buying. So all of these things are from Tesco. I was honestly so shook at the Tesco vegan range. I don't shop there very often, not only because I don't have one walking distance, so it's only if I ever do an online order that I'll shop at Tesco. And I literally couldn't deal with how many options there were for vegans. So if you guys wanted to see a part two of this video, I will happily do one because I really had to hold myself back with the things I was picking up. I didn't want to spend like my whole month's salary just on vegan food. But if you guys do want to see that, I will very happily buy some more bits because I was eyeing up quite a few products on the Tesco website. I did also film a full haul of everything that I've picked up this week. So that will be going up on my channel soon if you guys are interested in like the other bits that I've picked up. But to start with, I'm going to go through all of these bits and I will cut in a clip of me trying them. I'm going to try and pace it throughout the week so I don't just try everything at once and each day can have something fun to try. But I will let you guys know in those tasting clips what I think of them. So the first thing I picked up was this vegan steak. Now, I'm pretty sure this must be new to Tesco because I haven't really seen anything about it. It's from their Plant Chef range, which I've tried a few things from before and I've really enjoyed. This is a fake steak with garlic melt. So it basically comes with some garlic butter. And I think you just cook this like a normal steak. Not that I've ever cooked a normal steak before. I will say that when this arrived, it was open, which isn't very hygienic or safe. And I don't know if it's a good idea for me to eat this which is why I'm showing it first because I'm going to put it back in the fridge and hopefully if it's exposed to like air for the least amount of time possible it might be a little bit safer. Either way I'm still going to eat it because it was £2.65 and I can't justify throwing this in the bin but I'm going to cook it this evening for tonight's dinner just so I don't know in my head that might make it a little bit safer to eat but I am very intrigued to try this. I mean I don't know how much of like a steak person I am anyway so I don't know if I'm going to be like the best judge of this. Again I don't think I've ever had a steak in my life so I'm not going to really be able to give like an honest opinion on if it's realistic or not but I will definitely tell you guys if it tastes good and what the texture's like. It smells quite strong because obviously it's open I can smell it so I'm a little bit apprehensive, but we will see what this tastes like. It is officially time to try the steak. I have had a look at the instructions on the back of this and it says to fry for a couple of minutes and then put it in the oven, which I'm actually quite surprised about because I assumed it would just be cooked in the pan for the whole thing. But I have preheated my oven and I'm gonna put this in the pan to caramelize. So I've had some oil heating up here and I'm gonna add the steak. I think I potentially over caramelized that first side. It is looking quite black, so I'm not gonna cook the second side quite as long. So this now needs to go in the oven for 12 minutes and then I add the garlic butter and it goes in for another two. This has now been cooking for 12 minutes and I flipped it halfway through. So I'm gonna add the little bit of butter to the top and then put it back in the oven for two more minutes. Steak is cooked. I feel like I didn't pick a good day to make this because my flat right now is so warm. I feel like I'm literally melting, but I'm gonna give it a taste. I feel like it was relatively easy to cook. Also, it doesn't smell weird at the moment, which is always a plus when it comes to vegan meat. Hmm. I feel like it just tastes like a burger, like an expensive vegan burger, if I'm completely honest. So this is what the inside looks like. It is pretty dense, but it's still very, very soft. Like the meat isn't chewy in any way, which I feel like a steak would be to a certain extent. So I'm not sure how well they've nailed the texture. Taste wise, it literally just tastes like a burger. I can't really taste the garlic butter on top. I would probably want twice as much, maybe three times as much because I'm a big fan of garlic. Even with that mouthful, I deliberately picked a bit with lots of garlic butter on and it wasn't that strong. So I would say this is just a glorified overpriced burger if I'm completely honest 
I probably wouldn't get it again unless maybe if I was cooking for someone else and it was like a nice meal because it tastes good like it's really nice but if I was to have this sort of meal I probably would just cook a burger instead I think I don't think it's worth the price necessarily unless it's a special occasion but it's still good I would give this maybe like a 7 out of 10 the next thing I picked up was also from their plant chef range this is two meat free burgers and they're made with pea protein which is the same as the steaks I have a feeling these are going to be very similar to the steak because it seems like very similar ingredients but I've not tried these before. I don't know if they're as new as the steaks are but I've definitely not tried them. They look like the realistic meat patty so I'm very intrigued. I definitely prefer more of like a realistic burger than like a veggie burger but I do find that if a burger is like too realistic it's like off-putting. I know I've tried some that looked like this before where the smell was just so strong that when you were eating it you could still smell it so even though it tasted good the smell was so bad that it was like not an enjoyable experience so I'm hoping these aren't like that I am excited to have these this week especially as it's like barbecue season now I think if I have the opportunity to try and barbecue these I will because I want to know if they like stick to the barbecue or if they actually hold up but that is the next thing I picked up. And these were only £1.50, which I think is really, really affordable for what they are. And then to go with those burgers, I picked up these vegan brioche buns. I think these were £1.20ish and you get four buns in the pack. So I feel like that's pretty standard. I was very excited to try these when I knew I was going to be ordering from Tesco because I've been eyeing them up for a while. I feel like brioche buns are just so much better than any other type of bun. Like a burger is just so much better in a brioche bun so if these taste like a normal brioche bun i will be very happy i feel like that is one thing that i do remember from not being vegan because obviously i've not eaten meat for like 18 years i want to say now but i've only been vegan for maybe five or six so i'm excited to try these i feel like i want to make the ultimate burger with those burgers and this bun and cheese and coleslaw and chips and it's gonna be great. I'm not actually sure if I'm more excited for the burger this evening or the bread roll that's gonna be in. I have taken three of these out and put them in the freezer just because I knew I wouldn't eat them before they went out of date. I have kept one out though for me to try this evening because I didn't think it would be a very fair test if I tried a burger bun that had been defrosted. So very excited to try this. I am also going to be frying one of these. It does say on the back to grill for best results, but I can't really be bothered to do that. So I'm going to be frying in a little bit of oil. It does also say on here that these burgers aren't suitable for freezing, which I didn't know before I bought them and I find very annoying. I mean, I don't think there would be any issues with freezing them. If any of you guys have tried these before and you have frozen them, let me know if they worked out okay, if they gave you food poisoning, if they defrosted fine because I always assume with things like this that I can freeze them. I never eat two things if it comes in a packet of two. I always like to save it for a meal at a later date. So it just means this week I'm going to be having burgers two nights in a row which I guess I can't really complain about but that is something to bear in mind if you guys are buying these burgers. Burger is now in the pan. I will say texture wise it seems quite soft. It ended up sticking to the inside of the packaging which was a little bit gross but smell wise it's smelling good it doesn't have that overpowering vegan meat smell that some burgers do so that is definitely a win burger is now cooked so i've just put it to one side and i'm just toasting the brioche bun in the leftover oil in the pan i am so ready to try this burger that is incredible i actually can't deal that might be one of the nicest burgers i've had i made the big mac sauce that i made in my vegan big mac video for this burger so I feel like that's cheating slightly because I think you could put that on anything and it would taste good. But this literally tastes amazing. The bread is so good. The burger tastes really nice. I feel like this has to be a 10 out of 10. I definitely feel like it's the buns that make this. I feel like I've been deprived for the last five or six years not having brioche buns because that literally tastes so different to a regular bread roll. So much nicer, so much softer, such a better flavor like that just makes this burger i think this is what the inside looks like so it is a pretty standard vegan looking burger i feel like it looks pretty realistic although i'm definitely not an expert at that honestly i don't think i have anything else to add other than the fact that this is insane i definitely recommend both the burgers and the buns especially because i feel like they're both very reasonably priced it's making me want to shop at tesco more often just so i could get them on a regular basis 
and I think the burgers would barbecue quite well as well so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this but I am gonna be so sad when it's over. The final meat alternative item that I picked up were these garlic Kievs. Now I know for a fact these are definitely new because I've seen them recently posted on a few of the like vegan pages that I'm on on Facebook and I was so excited, I feel like I've used that word a lot in this video, but I was so excited that Tesco were bringing out some Kievs because I've not been able to get my hands on the M&S ones since they've been around and I know that's been ages now that they've existed, but I don't live near an M&S so I've not tried them, but these were I think £2 for two, they're just standard garlic Kievs and this is another thing that I really miss from pre-vegan. I never had chicken Kievs, I don't think, like actual chicken, but when I was vegetarian, I remember having like a vegetarian chicken Kiev alternative quite often. So I'm hoping these are like them. I mean, I don't feel like you can go too wrong with anything that's got garlic in. I mean, unless it doesn't taste like garlic, then I'll be very disappointed. But I think I'm gonna have this with like some mash and veg and yes, I can't wait to try them. I am gonna be trying the garlic Kievs today and I am very excited. I will say, like the burgers, that these are not suitable for freezing, which is kind of annoying because it also says, once opened, use immediately. So not ideal if you live alone and don't fancy eating two garlic Kievs at once. I guess just something to bear in mind if things like that bother you. I'm gonna risk putting one back in the fridge and having it tomorrow because I don't feel like that should be an issue. But if I get food poisoning, then I guess that is my fault for not following instructions. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna be having and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's cooked. This is what the chicken Kiev looks like cooked. I will say there was no leakage in the oven which I was very impressed by. I feel like chicken Kievs always explode and then you lose the best bit of the garlic butter so I'm very excited to cut into this. I definitely think this is lacking some of the buttery ooze you get with a chicken Kiev especially because none of that came out in the oven which makes me feel like it just wasn't in there to start with. I mean, I can definitely see a little bit of something in there and there's like two drops of butter on my plate, but I feel like that is a little bit disappointing for a Kiev. Taste wise, you can definitely taste some of the garlic butter, although it's not particularly strong. And the actual amount of fake chicken in here is very minimal. It's basically just like an empty pocket of breadcrumbs, which is kind of a shame. The texture of the chicken is okay. I feel like it's quite soft compared to some other vegan chickens. But as a whole, I feel like this is quite nice. Just maybe not quite what I was expecting it to be. I think I would give this a seven or six and a half out of 10. I mean, it's definitely not bad. Maybe six and a half is too harsh. I'll go for a seven. And then the final thing that I picked up was some vegan cheese. This is the Tesco Free From Coconut Oil Alternative to Halloumi. Now, I am so intrigued about this. I feel like halloumi is the one thing that no one's got right, like a vegan halloumi. I don't think anyone's nailed it yet. And it's the one thing that I miss so bad from being vegan. I have tried the Vi-Life one in the past and I wasn't impressed. I feel like the texture was wrong, the taste was wrong, it didn't cook right. It just was a no from me. But I'm feeling a little bit more hopeful about this one. Already from the front, I feel like it looks way more like halloumi than the Vi-Life one does and it's got like the specks of herbs throughout it. So if this is good, it's gonna be great. But I also think there's a high chance it could be a letdown. So we will see. It is time to try the vegan halloumi. I did just smell it and it kind of just smells like every other vegan cheese that Tesco does. So that hasn't made me feel too hopeful. The back of this says to grill it, but I think I'm gonna put it in a pan with a little bit of oil, just because that's how I would cook normal halloumi and I really can't be bothered to put the grill on. So fingers crossed that works out okay. I'm gonna be having this on vegan kebabs for dinner this evening, so I'm very excited. I have added literally the tiniest amount of oil to the pan and I'm just gonna add the halloumi in. I will say the texture does feel slightly different to the other vegan cheeses. It does feel slightly more rubbery which gives me hope, but again, it does feel slightly softer than I think normal halloumi does, so we will see. Already this is so much more successful than I found the Vi-Life cheese. I don't think that even went brown on the bottom when I cooked it, or just kind of stuck to the pan, so this is actually kind of looking like halloumi. Okay, so please don't judge how full my wrap is, it's literally like a pile on my plate. But this is what the cooked halloumi looks like. It feels a lot softer than it did to start with, although it seems to have kept its shape a fair bit. The texture is definitely still 
not quite halloumi it's too soft it doesn't really have any of that rubbery chew that you get with halloumi so it's not really the same experience but taste wise it tastes really good it does have a slightly different flavor to the other cheeses that tesco do and it's a little bit minty almost tastes maybe a little bit lemony i don't know if that's just me the taste is really good actually i'm enjoying this i definitely prefer this to the Violet life one i mean the texture is definitely a little bit of a letdown i feel like people have halloumi to have that rubberiness but if you're not a big fan of rubbery cheese you probably will like this i would still give this maybe like an 8 out of 10 because it's really really good i really like the flavor i feel like in this wrap it will do the same job as halloumi like if you eat it with other things i don't think you would notice quite as much but as like a vegan cheese alternative, I think this is pretty good. So they have been all of the new in vegan products that I've picked up from Tesco. It feels very weird filming this outro before I've actually tried any of them. But I guess you guys would have already seen all of my thoughts. I'm so excited to try every single thing. I don't think I could even pick a favourite of what I'm most excited to try. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!